One of the things that we all see when we walk into the woods is there's no grass. Underneath all the trees is this wonderful composting duff. You'll see the layer of leaves and twigs, but beneath the layer of twigs and leaves, you're basically finding this amazing compost that the forest has been making for eons. Um, and fruit trees are really, that's their natural environment, is this space where this fungal mat of breaking down woody material is creating associations with the roots and just basically also suppressing grass. So what we've got today is compost and mulch. And these are the two sort of final steps of kind of the actual hole itself. Is we recommend spreading a layer of compost as well as a layer of mulch at the end. Please visit our growing guides for more details specifically about that. But I'm just basically going to take this tub, which is probably about a mm, eight gallon tub, and I'm going to liberally both the hole itself and the surrounding edges of the hole with this compost. And I just rub it around a little bit, spread it circularly, break it down. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then, same compo, uh, sorry, bark mulch. Now, I don't want to form a bark mulch volcano. I definitely want to move this broadly around the tree, out beyond the edge of the hole. This will actually help grass be at bay, also maybe even start to break down some of that grass at the edge of the hole if you're, if you're planting into sod. We're going to recommend a yearly reapplication of wonderful bark mulch and, and wood chips. So basically this is a combination of wood and so, uh, hardwood and softwood chips and bark. So we don't want to do straight up softwood, but a mixture of softwood and hardwood is great. Now this looks, it looks beautiful, but really its key here is giving this tree this fungal environment that it needs to do its best work in the coming years ahead.